Hey everyone, Surreal K9 here. Welcome back for more Disgaea 4 Promise Revisited. I apologize for the long delay since my last video. It's just, uh. Well, for one thing, I've been playing through, like, the entire Kingdom Hearts series. <laughs> uh, for another thing, uh. Going back through the story mode of this game is kind of boring. <laughs> But, you know, I gotta, I gotta do it so it makes the mark on my save file and stuff. Anyway, uh, before we begin uh, going for the next epilogue, I should uh, bring up a couple of things I did between episodes. I unlocked the Trade Minister by clearing 60 maps. Uh, that gives me a 25% attack boost. Uh, I can now make a... I can now make a cute destroyer. This unlocks the Android class, which is the Majin of this game. Uh, she gets unlocked as soon as you uh, start a new cycle after reaching the post game. And I was also able to promote Cyrus to the Warlord. Um, I think. Has Sasha always been a bishop? I think she has. Uh, as you can see, I also unlocked Flan, <laughs> just because. Uh, she's not part of my main party, so whatever. Did a little bit of level grinding on everybody, just uh, over the course of the story, so they wouldn't be held back by stuff. So now we are going to go to the Campaign HQ and uh, set up the Legendary Treat. It's not the right camera view. Alright, first I should dispatch my evil deputy, which means uh, Val and Fenric, you get to do the thing. Why is Artina all the way up here? That ain't right. Just looking at some of these uh, spots here. Yeah, there are my three guys on the Rose and Queen shop. Anyway, first thing I want to do is uh, go to the Breakup Temple uh, for 1,000 mana just to erase my lover's status with Thartina. Not doing this because I hate her guts or anything, it's just if I keep her as Val's lover, uh, I'm going to get her epilogue instead of Fenric's. So, uh, we gotta get it. And we still managed to win, okay. I don't know what Senator Crimson does, actually. <laughs> but anyway. Fight together on a battlefield. You cannot set the leader. <laughs> okay. Fair enough, video game, fair enough. Alright, so now we want to make it permanent, and the way to do that is take them over here to Rebels of Hades, just send her the rehab room, I suppose. Get the two of them out together, and let's team attack. Because it's Val and Fenric, they have a very high chance of uh, team attacking together. So we just do this ten times, and we should be good to go. Two so far. Three. Try the chest. Alright, we should be good now. It's just, uh... 
Boink. Heck yeah. Let's go to the campaign HQ. In your service, my lord. Okay, that that wasn't enough. Uh, so clearly, I'm doing something wrong here. I think I know what it is, though. I need to have Fenric do all the attacking. An event under the legendary tree! Fenric and Valvatoris stare out towards the sunset without a word. Then suddenly, Fenric awkwardly gives Valvatoris' shoulder a firm slap. It may not look meaningful, but that's the only way Fenric knows how to show their friendship. The two stand together quietly until the sun sets completely. The two have become comrades! Alright, so, now that's a thing, let's go kill Fear the Great again! The dudes are like ten times more power, well, twice as powerful really this time. So, let's go! I'll show you sardine power! What are you weak to? Nothing. Okay. One nothing attack coming right up. Courtesy of Zemnis. God bless me. So uh, we don't really have anything for Artina to do. I'll end your misery. See if we can't get Fuka uh, to where she can do some real damage. As such. Let's see, I may want to send a. Uh... Oh no, I should keep Desko focused on the boss, really. Send Rutile over with the measles, just because she's got a lot of. Actually, Amizel has more health than she does. That's funny. I guess I should not be so worried about my wizard. I got this. Here I come. I should be worried about this wizard, though. <laughs> Sasha, you are. Not quite as advanced as my story characters. Whoops. Not quite what I meant to do. No. Oh. Actually, Artina is in serious danger if I get her anywhere near the boss. Oh yeah, the benefit of being comrades. Uh, I want to say team attack chance goes up to 100%. Uh, we'll be able to test that theory when... Uh, there. Once I finish the map. 
Alright, Desko, you can assault uh, Fear the Great all you want. Oh, in fact, this is going to be a lot easier than the first time, just by virtue of being over-leveled. Of course, being able to... Of course, taking out all these bad guys can only help me. So, uh... Bane Rose... One, two, three, four... Need to move you like one tile closer for this to really work. Yeah, sea level attack. That's pretty nice. Uh, Catly Rave, and finally, True Godly Weapon. And Rutil does the finishing blow. That's nice. And the fight's over. Hi, Valatorez. You could have told me the credits were over. Let's see what we got here. It looks like the human world and the netherworld are finally settling down. This is all thanks to my lord's power. We did good. And actually, I'd say it's more thanks to Amizel and Desco's power, but, you know. <laughs> it wasn't just me. I couldn't have done it without you guys. Yeah, see, Val gets what's up. Though, I'm still not satisfied with the current situation. We've got a long way to go. We have only just begun to re-educate the fools and restore the worlds. I concur. Then, shall we start by dragging that idiot down from the office of the president? Let's leave that idiot alone. Someone will take him down soon enough, even if we don't. Emisel. Perhaps Emisel. Hmm. Perhaps. Understood. The office of the president has always merely been a milestone for you, my lord. As you suggested, we will disregard any thought of that insignificant idiot, Axel. I suppose I shouldn't waste any more time dealing with that idiot while I'm still trying to accomplish my mission. Fenric, I've been wondering for a while now, and this seems like the perfect opportunity to ask, what exactly is your mission? Well, well, I thought you knew already. I have an idea, but I'd prefer to hear it come directly from your mouth. I see. Very well. There is only one thing I'm determined to do. It's to bring you back to the top of the hierarchy, and turn you into the conqueror of the universe, Lord Valvatores. Hmm. The conqueror of the universe, you say? Even higher than the Pan-Galactic Alliance Supreme Conference? Of course. Are you telling me to become a being that surpasses even God himself? I thought it was clearly established that, that the god of this series was a girl. I mean, did you hear the voice during the ending? And then again, yes. maybe that wasn't the real god. I can't bear to see the man who is my lord be second to anyone when it comes to power and authority. I've been holding back ever since you lost your power, but I'm reaching my limits. I see. If I have caused you so much pain, then I must do what you wish for me. Fine. I promise you, here and now, that I shall conquer the entire universe. Lord Val, thank you for your gracious words. Well, the path ahead isn't going to be easy. I'll need your support, Fenric. It will be my pleasure, my lord. That being said, I have a great idea for how you can gain your power back. Oh, what could that be? Try me. If you insist, all is for my lord. Yeah. 
<laughs> Just according to Fenkaku, translator's note, Fenkaku means Fenric's plan. <laughs> Shenanigans. Hi, Prinny. You exist. All right. Uh, that being said, I'm going to the campaign HQ and checking on this tree as promised. Yep, increased chance of team attack. Pretty nice. So next up, we are probably going to get Fuka's epilogue. <laughs> yep. See you guys later.